Uh, still working on the Tahoe. I already debadged the front. There's on the on the side of the car. There were two LTs, LT badges, and then this Tahoe badge was also on the on the sides. So what I'm doing is using some good old 16 pound or 10 pound test. I'm just oops, hacking this off. Then we'll use some auto finesse. You can use any kind of goo gone or anything like that. You could also use a heat gun. <laughs> I just don't have one. I've been one of these days I need to get off my rear and go get one. Because you might be able to just yank most of this glue off in half a time, but it's really not that bad. It takes 10 minutes or so each badge. I mean, it is a new car, so that probably helps. I just don't like badges. I think the car looks cleaner without them. I know the car looks cleaner, and I don't have to worry about cleaning them out. Took the plate off. Paint's in pretty decent condition. Jeez. The other letters are a lot easier to get off. This one's kind of in a weird spot, too. <laughs> Okay, so that off. Spray it down with some auto finesse obliterate. You could use goo gone, you could use Griot's adhesive remover, you could whatever you 3M adhesive remover, whatever you want. <clears throat> so here's auto finesse obliterate. I'll just keep spraying it on. Doesn't really hurt anything, so it doesn't matter if I wipe the excess off or not, but. I had already sprayed the E a little bit earlier, so I was getting lazy on you and wasn't gonna make a video. Since I've already done these before, done a debadging before, but what the heck? Can't hurt to have more content, right? So the paint doesn't look terrible on this thing. Um, you know, it's white, so it's re even under a light, it's really hard to see imperfections. Um, you know, I, I noticed some some mi minor scratches and. Not really any swirls. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna coat this car, which I think people have a misconception that I don't like coatings. It's not that I don't like coatings, it's just they look a little different to me. They look a little weird. Um, so I'm gonna do C-Quartz UK, which should be fine. I mean, uh, from from what I understand, the difference between Sea Quartz UK and traditional Sea Quartz is the is the ambient temperature when you're applying it. Um, you don't want it to be. You know, Florida would be a tough spot in that. You know, a lot of times it's above 90 degrees. I mean, it's like it's beautiful. I mean, it's like 60 something degrees here right now. Um, and from what I from what I understand, Sea Quartz UK looks a little better on white. So I'm going to use that particular mix or chemical compound on on this car. So you know, I've, I've been torn on whether I just don't I don't know that I care about this car as much as I do my my M3 and GT3. So I'm not going to compound this. Although you know, it's borderline. Um, I, I would probably, you know, if this was my M3 and, and, and there were, you know, some of the little minor imperfections, I would probably, just to be on the safe side, 
It looks a lot like my Carrera S when I got it. I would probably compound it or FG400 with a microfiber cutting pad, um, but there's a lot of paint on this thing. And, um, and it's my wife's car, you know, no offense to her, but I mean, she's not going to take care of it like I would. So, um, I think I'm just going to use, I'm going to test out the new CarPro Essence, which is a sort of a, a combination polish and I guess it has some SiO2 silicone dioxide in the you know, in the in the in the polish, so there's some polishing compound, and or some some diminishing you know, sort of polish polishing whatever you call it, little sand particles or whatever the heck they use, and then has some I think a little bit of SiO2 in, inside of it, so it does give you a little bit of a sort of a little filling capabilities. Um, supposedly, it the, the gloss is fantastic, so we'll see. I usually don't like to use kind of glazes or glosses or fillers, um, but in, in, in just sort of the interest of time, I got a lot going on, um, I'm gonna, and I'd like to test it out. Who knows, maybe I'll love it. Um, so I'm gonna use that with a microfiber cutting pad so I get kind of the happy medium behind finishing and, and a little bit of cutting to get whatever little minor imperfections there are out of the paint. And then, I'm going to do a Secrets UK application. And we'll, you know, I, <clears throat> again, I just don't, I prefer the look of wax over a coating. You know, it looks very synthetic. But the durability, this car is going to be parked outside, at least for now. Um, so the durability of the coating, the fact that I have spent so much time on my other cars already, I just don't want to have to wax this thing every six months. I'm probably only going to wash it once every month or so, if that. So I don't want to have to be working on this thing all the time. Ease down. So I'm not scratching the crap out of this. I'm just using my, you know, the end of my fingernail, which I know some of you guys get bent out of shape about this, but um, just works. And remember, my philosophy, guys. I, I'm not. <laughs> this isn't. I don't make these videos as the definitive way to do things. It's just this is how I do it, and. It seems to work, so what's what's wrong with it? And I'm always learning. You guys are always calling me out on stuff, so I think that's really cool to to learn learn things from from others that I just things that I've never never thought of. Um, but the thing that does bother me is when people you know have this sort of definitive. You're doing this all wrong, and you're stupid, and <laughs> you know just. Just they just don't have any sort of uh, I don't even know how to explain it. But they just don't get that they're dicks. You know, just don't be a jerk. I, you know, I like to think that I'm not a jerk. And you know, certainly I have opinions, but you know what? It, when you, when you state things that matter of fact, it's just it's just why not make it make a suggestion? Hey, Matt, you know, I think that. I really think you're not doing this right. You know, that's cool with me. I, I'm always willing to learn. But when you when you when you comment or email me saying you're just stupid, you don't you have no idea what you're doing. You're doing it all wrong. I, I don't understand what you accomplish by doing that unless you just enjoy picking a fight with someone. I'm not going to respond to that. So I mean, I don't understand how that works in life anywhere else. So why you know, why do it to me? But, you know, everybody's allowed to say whatever they want. They're just making this life up anyway, so. <clears throat> but like, I, I almost guarantee you someone's going to tell me you're doing this all wrong. Why are you using your fingernail or your thumbnail? You're scratching the paint. 
Why didn't you use a heat gun? Well, I don't have one, and I want to get this done. So maybe it takes me an extra 10 minutes to do it, but anyway, that's just something that I always find interesting, and I don't hold it against you. That's on you. If you want to be a dick about things, that's on you, but... I would choose a little different path. Hey Matt, you know, man, I really, really just don't agree with what you're doing. I, I think, I think you might want to consider doing doing it this way. Don't use your thumbnail. I just don't think it's a good thing to do, and here's why. Instead of, dude, you're so stupid. The thing just, you know, you're, you're ruining everything. Sorry to rant on you on that one. So you just, you know, just keep working it. The T is easier to remove than the than the than the E because it's been soaking here for a while. So I'll work on this, and we'll come back, and I'll show you the final amazing result. Okay, down to the T. T should come off the easy. So I'm, I don't know, 10 minutes in. I think what I'm gonna do, I've already auto scrubbed the whole rest of the car. The reason why I didn't do this last night is because I didn't want to open the door. It was too cold and bugs everywhere. So I'm gonna do the rear section. The rest of the car has been auto scrubbed. Um, so I use auto scrub, fine. I never use the medium. And then, um, I used, um, glide, nano skin glide on the car. So I did the windows, paint, you know, I, my tripod, Someone ran it over, so I don't have a tripod right now. It should be here on Wednesday. I had to make a claim, and I was going to just fix this one, but then the parts aren't available, so now I I have half of a tripod. The other half got run over, so a lot of the longer extensions. So you're going to be getting a lot of low angles here today, because my other my other uh, my new tripod won't be in. So like I said, I was going to order a bunch of parts and just rebuild this one, but. Some of the parts are discontinued, and it was it was going to cost like four or five hundred bucks to update this one when I could just buy a new one for nine hundred. So, and I wasn't certain I had the right parts, you know, the right part numbers because this is a long version, and there's the long version and the regular version. And so, long story short, I decided to just use the money that I got for reimbursement. So the company that ran over ran over my tripod and they paid the 900 bucks. I guess it was closer to a thousand. You know, I, I think I, I really think that I want to get an actual dedicated video camera so I won't have these issues with focus and you know, the preamps are better inside of the the actual video cameras. And I'm sure I'll still use a digital SLR because the depth of field looks really awesome, but in certain certain environments, but like even today, where it's kind of overcast, but bright in spots, gets a little tricky to get in focus video. If you guys keep watching this stuff and I get real uh, rich and famous, then I'll, I'll hire some cameraman to come follow me around so we can actually see what the heck I'm doing half the time the camera's not in the right spot all right no more Tahoe so now I'm gonna wash my hands and get this stuff off and then clay it. 